What's going on you guys? Welcome to The Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not The Single Guy. Today I'm joined by a very special guest, Mr. Josh from Pinnacle of Man. What's up guys? So we're going to talk about a subject today that Josh is very familiar with. So uh, the video is titled, Should You Do No Fat? Is No Fat Right For You? What kinds of things do you need to be suffering from to actually engage in this activity? So Josh, why don't you give us a rundown on what kind of things uh, a guy should look for if he's thinking about doing it or if he's not sure? You know, um, a lot of guys overcomplicate this. Um, I like to use Dr. Gabor Mate, um, he's like an addiction specialist. His mm -hmm. definition of what an addiction is, and it's just two things. Are you doing it despite knowing there are consequences? Like, do you feel shameful? Are you wasting your time? And are you doing it compulsively? Which means, are you catching yourself just, just looking at a couple of photos and then watching and it's like, how the hell did I get to this, you know, this porn video? <laughs> I was just, you know, on Instagram two seconds later. So if, the, if those two markers are consistent with you, you may want to consider stopping. So what would you say to a guy who feels like, oh, I'm not really sure, maybe I'm doing it compulsively, maybe I'm not doing it compulsively. What are some hard, fast rules for them to look for, um, for them to decide whether this is a good thing for them to do or not? Yeah, man, that's a really good question. Um, you know, the biggest marker is like, how do you feel immediately after you do it? Right. Like, do you feel empty? Do you feel weak, less motivated? Do you procrastinate? And the biggest one is, do you feel like a sense of shame or guilt? Because right. a lot of what happens, so porn is a drug. A lot of guys don't recognize it. It goes along the same pathway as other drugs. Yeah. Right? And so, like any other drug, you know, when, when a heroin addict does heroin, he needs more and more and more to get that original high. It's the same thing with a lot of guys with porn. Yeah. At first, just a picture of, you know, a girl's boobs is enough to get us off, right? Yeah. And then it's like, you need more and more deviant porn. And then guys are watching stuff that they're like, why am I turned on by this? And if that's happening to you, yeah, that's definitely the biggest sign you should stop. Just so you guys know, we're not saying that porn is exactly like heroin, but it no. can have, <laughs> uh, we're just giving an example about how it can have similar uh, effects as maybe something you get addicted to. So how far, what's like the worst case scenario you've seen guys getting into with this sort of stuff? Um, I mean, I could share my personal story a little bit. That'd be um, great, man. Yeah, yeah it was like, uh, I, that was me, the guy I was just explaining to you, and I would use it as an escape. So Bill W was like the creator of alcohol, Alcoholics Anonymous, and mm -hmm. he said that every alcoholic is trying to find God at the end of every bottle. Right. And I felt like me and a lot of other men were trying to find love and connection at the click of every mouse. Right. Because porn is consistent, gives you what you want, doesn't ask anything from you, there's no emotions involved, mm -hmm. but it leaves you feeling empty. And so for right. me, um, instead of talking to girls, right, yeah. instead of going out there and interacting and facing rejection and building my character, I would go to porn, I would escape, and I watched more and more deviant stuff until I was watching stuff that Honestly, I felt so disgusted with myself. I almost became suicidal. I said, if I ever watch this again, I was so filled with shame, I didn't wow. want to live with myself. Wow. And that's where it kind of actually was a blessing in disguise because it allowed me to learn, learn this, understand why I couldn't quit, and develop ways to Do you think over. there was other deeper seated things like going on with you when you were using porn as a way to deal with those things? Oh, 100%. Yeah, you know, a lot of guys, there's some trauma in the past, you know, um, it doesn't have to be sexual trauma. It could be the smallest stuff like abandonment, um, rejection, not feeling good enough with women, so you kind of go to porn as that escape. Mm -hmm. These little things that kind of build up, it's like a wound, and it kind of just gets exacerbated by the porn more and more and more. Sure, sure. Yeah. And that's maybe why when you use it as an escape, when you come out of it, the trauma, the wounds are still there, it doesn't do anything to heal it, but it's just more of a distraction, right? Just like alcohol, right? Like, exactly. Yeah, someone doesn't want to deal with depression or PTSD, so they'll drink or numb with drugs. Mm -hmm. Porn's the same exact thing. You're trying to feel good to escape negative emotions. Whenever you're going towards something, you're running away from something else. Exactly, exactly. So with me and my clients, I don't, I don't enforce it strictly, but one thing that I've noticed that NoFap helps a lot with is energy as well too. Big time. You know, if you're someone who is getting sexual gratification on a regular basis from yourself and from online sources, you're probably not gonna look for that in a real woman, and it's, as a result, you're not gonna go after it as much. So what can you speak to about that? Like, what's the good uh, relationship a guy should have uh, with that sort of stuff? Yeah, and if a lot of guys are very logical, uh, like myself in a lot of ways, on the neurological level, um, dopamine, right, is released whenever you watch porn. Um, mm -hmm. About 100% of your molecules, if you want to know, like 50% with food, 1,200 with methamphetamine, little right, stack right, there. Right. But what happens with um, any neurotransmitter is that the more you get that drug, your brain's like, oh, I don't need to produce this naturally because you're getting so much of it. So it starts to lower. And dopamine is the incentive molecule, the motivation molecule. Mm -hmm. So the more you watch porn, the less naturally you produce it, and therefore you become less motivated to do certain things like go to your work, talk to a girl, you know, do things that are good for you, like go to the gym, etc. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. So for me personally, my own life, I still do it, but I don't do it as much as I used to. Or um, if I'm really like, if I'm seeing someone, I do it a lot less. I'll admit that. <laughs> uh, but if I'm not seeing anybody consistently, you know, I don't think it's that bad to do it every once in a while. I think you were relating it to alcohol. It's like it's not that bad if you have a drink, but if you don't become an alcoholic. Yeah. And it becomes a problem, it starts ruining your life. Yeah, look, man, I'm, I'm very practical about this. I'm not saying you're gonna get superpowers, and I'm not saying you should quit. If it's okay for you, like, there's people out there that use opioids, right, that are similar to heroin, um, for pain. And then they, when the pain's gone, they stop using it, right? Or people who drink socially, and they don't go overboard and get blacked out. But there are some people, when they touch that substance or that activity, like gambling or anything else, it just activates their brain chemistry some way where they just have to dive into it and forget everything else. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, I think you have some resources that can help guys out if they uh, if they feel like this may be a problem for them. Want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I have a program with over a thousand guys quitting porn. Um, I went to grad school to figure out a system to quit that kind of doesn't rely on willpower because when guys try to use willpower to quit, it's like they're forcing and forcing and it only suppresses their urges and that sexual energy just gets repressed. Imagine it's like rubber band you're pulling back and eventually it always snaps and they always come back and relapse. So I found a way to kind of get rid of those urges and uh, yeah, that's the process I've been using. Cool, cool. All right, well, we'll put links to it in the description. If you want to check out his channel, it's Pinnacle of Man. Thanks so much for coming on, Josh. Thanks, and, uh, We'll talk soon. Cheers. See you guys.